Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're doing pretty well. I'm doing well tonight as I'm recording this. Um, so I have another quick tutorial for you. This one was also a, um, a suggestion or request rather by a viewer um, and will be about how to install um, custom kneeboard pages for your various aircraft in DCS. Um, I might do one about how to make uh, kneeboards as well, but to be quite honest, I have to kind of do a bit of learning about how to do that first. Um, but anyway, this one will be about how to install them. So first thing you do, go to the DCS website here, um, and then you can go to user files and you can, I think you can search by, um, um, I'm sorry, by kneeboards and things. Otherwise you can scroll through and just search for them. Once you find one that you want, go over here and click download. I found this one that looks very useful to me, which is for the SAM threat guide, as you can see, has all kinds of information about them. That's definitely useful. Uh, so that downloads go to your downloads page in your file explorer right click this you're going to want to download um, 7-zip which you can just search for that it's this here 7-zip extract files open this up we'll copy this folder here left control c go to your c drive users your user save games dcs open beta or whatever that one is for you um, kneeboard if you don't have a kneeboard folder which you probably won't create it like this all caps go here um, unfortunately I don't know what all of the names for the different aircraft folders are specifically but I'm sure if you google that you'll be able to find people that have talked about those that's what I've had to do for these um, but for these ones here name them as I have here and then we'll go into whichever one we have I'll do the F-16 here Oops, actually, I'm sorry, I need to um, copy all and then paste them in here. That was my mistake. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Hardest thing about that is just making sure that you have the files um, labeled exactly correctly. But other than that, super easy, definitely useful to have. In my Hornet one, for example, I have an entire manual pretty much, um, which is always definitely useful to have. Um, but anyway, hopefully you found this helpful, informative, etc. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, requests, suggestions, etc., um, you know, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate that. If you want to consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing, that would really mean a lot to me too. Um, but anyway, I hope you have a good one, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.